Good afternoon, YouTube. So, as y'all can see, he made it safe and sound. Trucks in the yard, in the driveway. And uh, we are about to get some work in. So, I went live with you guys earlier today. Today is a New Year's Day, January 1st. So, have a happy 2014, you guys. Be safe don't do anything I would do would do so uh, I'm about to pull a lot of my tools out of the garage but first today we're not gonna really get too much into the cosmetics what we're gonna do today is a lot of cleaning so before we do any kind of work on the truck before we do any kind of organizing on the truck we have a lot of cleaning to do so we're gonna pull out the vacuum cleaner we're gonna go through and try to vacuum up as much as we can we are also going to get the mop wipes you name it uh, and we'll go through the truck thoroughly and try to uh, clean a lot of this stuff up dusting and everything we're also going to try to pull out this full-size bed out of here because you see there is no room in the sleeper like at all so we're going to pull out this full-size bed um, get that out of here and I don't have a twin size mattress yet, but I do have one of the small, um, like top bunk mattresses. It's going to be super uncomfortable, but I'm going to use that for now. I, I need space in my sleeper. So we're going to pull this out and some, find a way to put that in here. So let's do that. So we told you guys that um, my wife is actually the one in charge of um restoring this truck she's gonna pick the paint color interior color stacks chrome lights she's gonna be the one doing everything so i'm gonna let her kind of uh orchestrate this video kind of what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it in the order that we're gonna do it in um this is gonna be a family project the kids are gonna be getting their hands dirty as well so i know a lot of y'all saw my video of me uh taking apart my international uh, Lone Star when I had it. So I did save the mud flaps. The mud flaps my dad gave me. Uh, let's see. So I will be putting those on there. So yeah. I'm probably gonna have to keep the boys do that. They like putting mud flaps on trucks now that they know how to do it. I'm gonna have my shade tree mechanics, my little toddler sons, put the uh, the mud flaps on for me. Um, fifth wheel does need grease. I do not have any, so we will need to get some grease for the fifth wheel. I might take the catwalk off of here because there's really no need for it for what I do. Um, or I'm gonna just find out where it's bolted and see about moving it uh, like completely directly against the sleeper. But we're going to try to knock out as much of this as possible today. And then maybe organize this little box here. So I might not have any more use for my little toolbox here, guys. The one I had on the loan start that I paid over 300, 400 bucks for. I might not have use for it anymore, but it's super heavy. And I got to get all my stuff out of there and maybe put in that toolbox over there. But I don't know, guys, we, I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna have the wife be the one to uh, orchestrate a lot of that stuff because this is basically her truck. So if y'all have any ideas, any comments, advice, suggestions, I'll leave it down there in the comment section. She reads the comments just like I do. And uh, we'll be open to anything. But this is gonna be a learning curve for both of us. I've uh, built cars before. I've never built a truck, an 18 wheeler. So this is gonna be a first. Um, yeah, but usually a car, like my favorite car is a Mustang. I've built Mustangs before. And actually uh, this excursion I built, it's not, needs a lot more work done to it, but I built it. And then also that Ram pickup truck that y'all see back there, I built that too. That Ram is on a seven inch lift. 
This one is on a six inch lift. Um, and these are only two of the vehicles I built. I, like I said, I built Mustangs. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've worked on. But anyway, we're, we're talking about the truck right now. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So y'all sit back, relax, and watch us get our hands dirty. And uh, like I said, if y'all have any suggestions, let us know down in the comment section. And uh, let's get to work. All right, YouTube. Today is day one of us getting her getting her together i don't know if you can see her but today is day one we've got a couple of days um thanks to the holiday to um just show her a little little tlc tender love and care so um, um we're gonna start off by cleaning her up so she needs a very good clean inside and outside we're gonna start inside get as much done as we can um, I say we, but I'm probably going to be doing a lot of the cleaning on the inside because it's it's a confined space and us, multiple kiddos and adults in there is not going to work. So I'm going to try to tackle as much of the inside. The first thing we're going to do is pull out that mattress at some point and so I can really get underneath there. But um, I've got my vacuum, I've got um, some cleaning supplies and what was I looking for? I came over here for something. Shimon's gonna get me some water here in a second. But what was I looking at? Oh, the masks. Um, I wanna make sure that we are very well protected around all these chemicals. So, baby, if you need, uh, if you need a mask, they're here, okay? All right, Shimon has the kiddos getting ready to take care of some outside stuff. I'm thinking he's gonna record simultaneously. But I've got my mask, Brad. Um, very good suggestion because you know the fumes. Um, I've got my Dyson right here. Um, does wonders inside, so I'm hoping we can do um, some some really thorough cleaning inside as well. Um, but let me take you in here so you guys can see what I'm working with. All right. So, um, Shimon kind of showed you guys before in another video, but I just want you to see. This is what we're working with, but I am looking even more in depth as far as like how clean we need to get this baby. The floors definitely need to be cleaned. I'm gonna try to get under every crevice and sur surface. Um, trying not to touch the wires, but I still wanna clean as much of this as I possibly can. And then that way I can show you guys before and afters of everything. Clean the seat really well if I can. And then there's not really a whole lot I can do to like these panels, like well, what would <laughs> what should be panels and stuff. But um, we are gonna get this mattress out here because this, this don't look like it's for us. This, <laughs> this mattress doesn't look like it's for us. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to take all this stuff out really fast, get this mattress out, and then I'm gonna start cleaning. And I'll show you guys as I go. <laughs> Thank you. 
pues. things moved around and organized and see what's what. I'm going to start in this little corner over here and start with the floor and work my way. I feel like there's not really a whole lot I can do with the panels right now because I don't know what Shimon is wanting to do with that um, for right now. So I'm going to try to wipe down these. Oh, it's just that one. <laughs> wipe down wipe down this, wipe down these, but I'm just going to start at the floor and work my way for starting with like the blue, these little blue wooden, I don't know what they're called. Anyways, that's where I'm going to start. So I've got it a little, um, at least vacuumed up. i got to pick up some of the trash that's back there. I'm going to try to get into some of these spots and crevices. We'll see how I do. This is the area I'm going to work with as of right now.
really quickly. So this is how the seeds are looking so far. So this is how the seeds are looking so far. I just want to show you guys a little bit before so I can also show you the after. This is how this is looking. So Shimon made a really good point about not having to do go crazy with the cleaning because we are going to be replacing almost, if not all, a majority of this stuff in here. But um, I just don't want it to be filthy. So I'm gonna still clean as much as I can because he's gonna be living in here when he's not home. So I would at least like for it to be, um, you know, uh, I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but you know what I mean. Like, I just want it to be nice. So, um, I'm going to keep scrubbing away. two passes and this is as good as I could get it right now. So I think we should be okay. Alright, so you hand me the oh there, there okay. I was gonna say you know you handed me some gloves. Alright guys, change of plans. <laughs> We're gonna try to take this floor up today. Go over there and play Genesis. Ah, ah, ah. No, go over there and play. Alright, what do you need for me? Let's try to get the bat first. Actually, well. I think for this front one, you might have to like unscrew some things, right? Oh, uh, maybe that, uh, yeah. Okay. Let me get my drill. If you want to start cleaning that up back there, I'll do.
All right, guys. Okay. So, slight change of plans. We are going to try to go ahead and get this um, um, floor piece out. Um, Cause it's just, it's just holding dirt. It's, it's, um, and we're not, we're not going to keep it. So we can go ahead and get it out. But the way that they did it was they put the piece in and then they, um, they put the wooden piece in and then they put all of like the chair, um, and the gear uh, like over it. So we, instead of having like <laughs> take all the pieces out, we're just going to take our saw and see if we can crack this baby open and just rip her in half and pull her off in pieces. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. Do not try this at home, folks. No, I'm just joking. I am not a professional. All right, let's give it a try. Yeah. Here, hand it to me. I might be able to get it. Oh, you got it. Are you, no, you're in there. You go, you're already. Hey, go to the garage now. Y'all go play in the garage. Let's watch these wires. Okay, so now that piece there, you're gonna have to cut going that way. Here, take this brick, put the brick up under it.
Alright, unplug it for me. Alright you guys, we made a little bit of a mess, but <laughs> my um, vacuum is dead, so we're going to have to come back tomorrow and vacuum this up, and then I also want to clean this down. I might do that now, I don't know, but um, we went ahead and we took, we just went ahead and we took them out. They didn't serve a purpose for us, so we're just going to go ahead and we went ahead and remove them. So while mom is working on the uh, the inside, the boys are going to get started on these uh, these mud flaps here. All right, all right, Josiah, I need you to get me a ratchet, please. Can you get a ratchet? Thank you. All right, now let's find the one that fits. We need to find one that fits on here. So let me see. Uh, let me wait. Let me see. No, no, no. Put it back. Let me see that. Uh, that 13. Look on there and look for 13. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, it's a 13. All right, here. Okay, wait, wait, let, let, me, let me loosen this up. Get it from the bottom. And pull it. Sorry, I couldn't help him pull it off. Go ahead. Put it over there by the red truck. Thank you. 
yours. Hey, wait, let's make sure it's on the right. Alright, let's take that one off. Yeah, put that. There you go. Keep going. Nice and slow. Alright, go ahead and go fast. Alright, see if it'll come off. And try it with your fingers. All right, try the drill again. All the way, all the way on it. There. there you go. Fast, faster. All right, now try it with your fingers. There you go. Yes. All right, get your washers and your nuts. On the toolbox. Ah, 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 ah. We're not ready for that yet. Right, you guys that is it for today baby's crying and the vacuum needs to charge so that we can vacuum up all of those wood pieces um so we're gonna call it a night and come back tomorrow and finish her up but i think we i think we did good right babe yeah i did sleep there i didn't mop him yeah <laughs> all right well we'll see you guys tomorrow All right, day two, part two. We are back at the truck. Uh, today is Tuesday, December 2nd, January 2nd, January 2nd. Uh, got my measuring tape here. I am about to uh, trim this down. This is the frame that's, that was holding up the twin size bed. Um, I'm going to wait, attempt to trim it down um to fit a uh a twin size so it was originally a full i'm trimming it down to a twin so uh let's see what we got here so with my handy dandy sharpie here i went ahead and got it lined out so i got it coming 40 inches down this way so i'm going to cut here but after looking up under this thing I noticed this metal plate under here and uh, it looks like it's attached on by these little screws here. So I have to go through, take out these screws, which I wonder if they will fit in the dash and I'm missing pieces there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, <clears throat> so I got to see where all these little screws come from and uh, take those out and actually, well, I guess that's going to stay there, but yeah, so gonna cut that which that'll give me a lot more space uh, right here 
so for a twin size bed instead of a full because that full size bed literally comes right here and so i have zero space in the sleep reflect like my fridge and stuff and i think we're going to go ahead and pull these panels out of here i don't know i might try to put them back up i don't know we'll, we'll see but uh, i'm going to turn it over to the wife and uh she'll let you know what she's got going on next Did it come out on the other end? Actually, I wonder if these screws will fit in here. Perfect. <laughs> so you want me to hold on to or put him in there? Yeah. Let me just double check. Is it too long? Um. Yeah. Way too long. Hair too big, I think. Yeah, it fits, but it might be a uh, hair too long. Well, yeah, I think it's just a little bit too big. Yeah. something else so save these I don't see any more so I don't let's go on this side oh wait okay so there's two more on the back end. <sighs> so tempted to pull this out now. <laughs> I don't see them much screw. Is that it?
So guys, with this piece, it's welded on there. On the other end. On the other end, so. It's across that bridge when we get there. So, I guess now we'll slice this part down. Yeah. All right, friends, if you hadn't already noticed, I am behind the camera today, <laughs> mainly. So, it's getting a little, a little dusty in here. We decided we're gonna go ahead and remove these boards completely because um how the trucks usually come where the bed is is a lot lower than where it is right now so and at some point we do want to put the bunk back in there um as well as the main the main bed so we're just going to go ahead and remove these and screw this uh wooden piece that the that the mattress is going to sit on into the wooden pieces that are right here if you can see Let's see can you see that these wooden pieces right here, we're gonna screw this into here. So, um, so he's gotta, but he's gonna have to crawl under there and unscrew some stuff. So, that's what we're doing. <sighs> I dropped you. That's what we're doing, guys. Uh, fun day. So, once we're done with that, we just gotta do a little screwing to attach the bed to the more more sta stabilized frame and then we'll get back to cleaning but yes all right this is what we're looking like right now uh, take a step back so we're just still trying to get these uh these wooden pieces out. There's one more screw back there that he's trying to unscrew. <laughs> Alright, it that was should easy. uh It's just the big piece. I so my only concern is I feel like this metal piece is just going to be pushing the wood up. Yeah. Um, take that as much as Are you ready? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. It's just you got to look this. Slide this piece out and just put it under the middle. Wait, if you lay it down, it may just like, you know. Then the metal sits way up. Okay, um, let me help you. So, am I moving this all the way out? Uh, yeah, put it all the way out. Actually, that might fit. Just toss it out. We'll get the one that's. I'm not as strong as you are. Okay, so I'll get it. I'll get this up. Let me toss that. Yeah, so, so let me just slide this my way. All right. I just want to
All right, looks a lot better, huh? So, see that's trash. So we went ahead and we lowered the bed. That way I can access the little side door to the side because it was sitting too high up. And that way when we install the top bunk back in here, it won't like, originally it was about to here. So that top bunk would have came across right about there. And so now that it's lowered right here, top bunk will fit perfectly across the top which eventually I'm thinking about pulling this up and putting a couch in here anyway. So um, all of this uh, headliner is eventually gonna come out anyway. So I'm not really too worried about it, but um, for insulation purposes, since it's pretty cold out, I'm gonna put it back up here temporarily just for now until we get our, uh, our donor truck from, um, from uh, Robbie and um well not the whole truck but just the interior once we get the interior we'll worry about worry about that so i'm gonna put this um headliner back up here for now as upholstery and then uh, my, wife, my wife's gonna come through here and uh clean her on up guessing uh shimon kept you guys informed but i am now taking over we've moved that big piece out and it's looking a little bit more spacious back here i'm so excited <laughs> um now i'm just gonna do some tidying up i'm gonna really vacuum really well under these spaces and um kind of give the dash a good wipe down and that's going to be the extent of everything that I do because, you know, there's not really a, a, a point to getting it spotless because we still have work that we're going to do down the line. But this will do for now. So, as excited. Where do I want to start? Okay. Um, I'm going to start with vacuuming. And I hope you guys can see um, it is getting, it's starting, the sun is starting to set. So I hope you can see everything that I'm doing, but I'm gonna start off with just vacuuming, guys. <laughs> really quickly what I'm working on so I don't know uh, I mean they weren't they weren't tightly like secured on there like it, it, was, it was like a loose leaf of paper really how it just moved around so I hope it was okay that I moved that but I'm gonna try to clean this up as much as I can while it's um, this while I move those pieces over so that's what I'm working on
I've got some water with some Dawn dish soap and a little bit of, um, what is that stuff called? Um, not that I'm trying to think about it. I literally just poured it in here. Pine salt. So I got a little bit of, um, some Dawn dish soap because that's supposed to be a really good degreaser. As well as, um, a little bit of pine salt. And I'm just going to kind of lightly, uh, clean the floor and the petals, um, just very lightly. Um, and then kind of work my way that way. I needed to charge the vacuum. So I'm gonna have to take it section by section because uh, the vacuum can only handle so much dirt. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it section by section across and then a light wipe down of the, uh, um, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah, that part. And then I'm going to call it a night for me. Biggest thing I want to get this is now because it's difficult to mm -hmm. get to them with. Does this, I think this slides up a little, right? Is it supposed to go right here? Yeah. Well, now I'm just looking at it. I'm just trying to make sure the screws fit. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we just beat the rain. So we're inside now. So we got quite a bit of work done. Not as much as we wanted to. So that truck was, uh, it was, it was uh, a lot more challenging than we thought. But we got the more of the difficult part done with that sleeper. So uh, as y'all can see, I'm not even gonna explain it, y'all. Saw this, today's a long video, over an hour long, but we want to show y'all as much detail as y'all uh, been requesting. And so we are uh, in process of rebuilding this truck. So, uh, so every weekend we'll be doing something different. And so this weekend we kind of focus on the sleeper. We still have to go through there and clean the floors pretty quick, pretty, uh, pretty good. And. Uh, we have some ideas for the floor. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think we should do to the floor. So sleeper's almost done as far as just the bunk itself. And then we're gonna do the, uh, the upholstery going around the sides. So let us know what y'all think about that. What color we should go with that. Cause uh, we still have the truck from uh, 
from Robbie that we're getting the the parts that we're getting from Robbie. So uh, shout out to shout out shout out shout out once again Robbie for uh, looking out for us. And then uh, so let us know what color y'all think we should do for the upholstery on the the, uh, the sleeper, and then what we should do uh, with the flooring. And guys, we are exhausted. I'm going to get in here and take a nap because I have to go deliver my load in the morning and um, uh, deliver that. And then we got some stuff that we're uh, picking up and moving around with. But like I said, on the weekends, that'll be our little project that we're doing um, here at the house. <sighs> trying to think if that's it. Oh, guys, uh, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, January 14th. We're going to be going live with Be Lean Fitness. Their link is down in, in the description. Y'all go check them out. He did tell me that some of you guys have reached out because you're interested in getting in shape for 2024. Um, Y'all know I have a personal trainer who is virtual and uh, I've been trying to get in shape. I've been trying to eat healthier and do better. And so they have really been looking out for me. So we're all about health and uh, fitness in 2024. So they reached out to me. We we're partnered up with them. So go check them out. Link down in the description below. Um, we have a live um, live interview that we're going to do with them in the next two weeks. January 14th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So y'all tune in for that. Y'all come meet, um, meet the owner. And uh, he's going to be talking about health and uh, fitness for 2024. So that is something cool we have coming up. So, uh, so yeah, guys, I think that is it. So guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, I gotta take a quick nap because I got some more. Uh, I got some more to do. So I'm not gonna show you guys how it looks now because it's pitch black. We went and took the truck down the road because I didn't want to wake anybody up at four o'clock in the morning to start that thing up because she's so loud. So we went ahead and parked her. So you'll have to wait till the next video to see what we accomplished on the inside. Like I said, we didn't get as much accomplished as we wanted to, but we got a decent amount of work done considering that it was a lot more work than what we thought it was going to be for that particular project that we were doing. So let us know what we should do with the floors and then let us know uh, about the upholstery on the, uh, the inside of the sleeper with the paneling and everything. And uh, guys, make sure y'all join us live January 14th, 2024 for our live uh, YouTube live. But I might be going live over the next couple of weekends just to say what's up to you guys. But guys... This is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, everything you can think of, comment down below. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We'd love for you to hang around with us. And you guys have been showing a lot of love. We've gotten hundreds of subscribers just this week. So uh, thank you all guys for tuning in. And I will catch you guys at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow.